Welcome back. So let's just make a fun game right here called Let's Get All by First Name. So the game is pretty much the same. Here we get all customers from a database, a data source somehow. In this case, it's just a stupid list that we've used inside the customer repository, but it could be a huge data source, a database with 5 million customers maybe even. And it would be kind of stupid just to re return all customers as a list. The price is, if you do that, you'll have to take care of all that data somewhere. And if you even have to send it over the wire, it would be so slow. Even the query to retrieve them would be kind of slow, right? So either you'd have a huge data amount that you don't need, or you would end up spending way too much time getting the data from the database. So when we did this, when we did the two list right here, that was actually the time where we converted a query, which is this guy. You know the I enumerable, right? Let's just mouse over right here and you can see I enumerable. As soon as I called the to list, I actually said, I know what I want to do later, but as soon as I call this guy, I actually execute that query. Meaning that when I did this, I was actually only setting up. So when I did this part, I was just setting up what I wanted to do. But as soon as I actually did the to list, I executed what I wanted to do. We're going to dive more into this, but this is one of the powers of link. Now, right below it, I just started a new method right here because I only want to get all my users by first name right here, or my customers. So notice right here I have a list, but right now the list is only an enumerable. So that pretty much means that right here I have not executed any query. So not executed anything yet. Right? So that's kind of important to know. Then I go down here and I can say, let's just return the list. But I cannot do that until I say to list, right? But now I've actually executed and gotten the data. I'm still getting all the um, customers right now, and that's not what I wanted, but just to let you know, nothing has been executed yet. Here I, I ask for all the customers. Might not be that important with a small database in memory like we have right now, but with a huge database, this makes sense. So let's try and do something. Let's say instead of getting everybody, I actually want to say, I only want to get the ones where, so I use the where clause with link, and then I say for each customer, not there we go, customer. And here I use a lambda expression. I want to kind of use that customer's first name to check if that is equal to the name that I'm getting from the outside right here. Okay, let me just move that up one line. So again, it's easy for you to see this. Cut that. Let's make a query continued right here and then put it in there. Okay, so What's important to notice right here is I've just taken a where clause right here and it's actually still not executed. I'm still building a query. I'm still preparing something, but already at this point, you'll notice that if this was sent to an SQL database, I could send in, I only want customers where last name, uh, first name equals the name I'm sending in, right? So it's already a smaller data set. If I'm done now and I feel that I'm happy, I can just say query continued to list and the query is executed. Ta-da! Right? So this is very powerful. This means that I can actually start defining what I want to do, and I could keep going here. I could also order them all. Let's just say order by, and let's just put in, again, the customer like this, and say customer dot name, if I want to order by the name. There we go. Still, Query is not executed, I'm just preparing a statement, right? And in the end, when I'm done, I'll just execute it by calling the to list. So this is why this is so important. Notice right here that I can now start making some crazy, crazy queries if I want to, but I don't have to have a new, um, a new query inside the repository every time, right? If I was going to make the good old list statement inside the repository, I would have to make a new query in the repository saying get all by first name. Get all by first name, right? Then I would have to make a new one, get all by first name where ID equal 12. Get all by blah, 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 blah. That's not the idea with the repository. The repository is just going to grab the data. That's the goal for that one. So now I've made a very generic repository that we can go and make completely generic later. And I've let the service take care of the business logic of saying, get all by first name, by actually getting all the customers and then filtering them. But don't go to the database until you call this to list in the end. So I don't know if this makes sense yet, but as we start working with the NT framework, 
I'm sure it will. The last thing I just want to do is open this up in the interface just to kind of give it the access. So I'll just go to the service and just add one more up here. Get all customers because I want that in my interface as well. That was it for this lesson. Now we've just changed inside the repositories. We've gone and changed into enumerables and I've also shown you kind of two ways of using the enumerable and we're not going to execute anything until we do the to list and there are other commands for that as well. Just to wrap this up right here, let's just try and jump into a link tutorial on tutorialsteacher.com and just scroll down here, all the different things we can do with link before we actually make it into a list. We can count, that's actually also going to be an execution. We can call first a default, that's also an execution and there's so much we can actually do with link and we'll start looking into that in upcoming lessons. Have fun.